I was looking online, and there isn't many Fire Emblem Warrior reviews for some reason. It's weird that only like 38 reviewers on Metacritic review Fire Emblem Warriors when many Switch games, like big third party or big games on the Switch, get like 50 plus reviewers, and I don't know why. So I am gonna be reviewing Fire Emblem Warriors. So I be reviewing Fire Emblem Warriors as a Fire Emblem game, not a Fire Emblem Warriors game, like relating to Hyrule Warriors. I am gonna be reviewing this as a Fire Emblem game. So this is Top Gamer Level 7, and this is my first video game review ever, and it's gonna be on Fire Emblem Warriors. <laughs> Fire Emblem Warriors is a great game with some shortcomings. I bet you're wondering, what is these shortcomings? So let's get started with these issues. Like a normal review normally starts with the best part of a game, but I'm gonna go with the bad part and then just push it out the way. And it's characters and story. Yeah, characters and story. So let's start talking about characters. I know in Fire Emblem there are many characters that are similar and almost every person can get the same abilities and every character have different stat multipliers such as attack, res, and magic to determine the class that is best fit for that character. Fire Emblem Warriors don't have this. Every character is set to a default class such as Cordelia begins as a Pegasus Knight and then you use a master, a master seal that you find in the game. And it evolves it, or I'm gonna say it evolves, uh, transform into a Vulcan Knight. So no second seal to make Cordelia a Waver Knight. I bet you're saying something like Fire Emblem Warriors doesn't need those mechanics. I know it's not needed, but I wanted to tell Fire Emblem fans before getting into this, because I know most Fire Emblem fans is going to buy this game, not Dynasty Warrior fans. They're on PS4 and PC or I think it's on PC, yeah. And another thing about characters, there are some characters that is in the game as supports in actual gameplay, in the story, that cannot be used, that might be purposely excluded for DLC. So also, I'm gonna be talking about some characters, and some characters are duplicates. So there are 15 unique characters and I think there are 22 characters in the game, not including the support characters that I just mentioned. Should I be angry about this? I say no. Don't be angry at me, but Cory Tecmo is making a Warriors game from a strategy RPG that only attack people by moving characters around and scream on a 2D plane. And based on cutscenes Fire Emblem Awakening that looks really, really cool and how they imagine characters to move and an attack in an army. But let's move on from that and let's move on to story. The story is okay, but I'm not going to go in depth with the story because of spoilers and I know the story is not a great story, but I want you to experience it yourself. But I'm going to tell you right now not to buy this game because of story, but for the battles and the unique maps. And that's easily the best part of Fire Emblem Warriors. I like to think of Fire Emblem Warriors like Fire Emblem Fates, Conquest. The story in Conquest is really bad. I don't even like that story. Really, really bad. But the gameplay is amazing. It's just like that. That's how I sum gameplay story for comparing Fire Emblem Fate Conquest to Fire Emblem Warriors. So let's move on to the positives about the game. And let's start by explaining the battle system or the, how it works in Fire Emblem Warriors. In Fire Emblem Warriors, the weapon triangle returns, but not the Fire Emblem Fates improved weapon triangle but the weapon triangle that is similar to Fire Emblem Awakening, like swords beat axe, axe beats lance, lance beats swords, bows and magic is outside the triangle, but bows can take out flying enemies with ease. Magic users are normally weak against physical attacks because their defenses are low. Most physical characters have low res. So Fedric, as an example, have very low magic defense or res, so he's weak to every almost every magic attack so do not send Fedric with against a magic user by defeating enemies obviously you level up and that will increase selected stats a little at a time master seals like the main game is the only way to change classes 
Like the main game, class change or changing class provides a huge stat boost. So let's talk about the best mechanic of Fire Emblem Warriors, and that's the pause menu. Really, it's crazy. Or the beginning of a match. You can instruct units or characters, whatever you want to call it, to do a certain task, such as attack this fort or attack that enemy or attack that captain or if you if a character is really hurt if the character can heal you can make that character go to that go to that unit and heal the character and most likely the computers could do the job but remember when instructing units don't forget about the weapon triangle so don't make a cordelia attack a fort with a bow captain because bows could destroy flying enemies and don't make Krom attack a fort with a lance. The remember, Krom is a sword user. Lance beats sword. The computers is going to be in a disadvantage, and most likely the computer will not be able to defeat the enemy in a timely fashion or be defeated. So you need to always pay attention to the weapon triangle, especially when you're playing the story mode in hard or history mode because history mode i don't even think i have a difficulty i was actually looking for that i don't see any difficulty slider it's just naturally hard so let's move on to the best part of the game yes the best part and that is history mode you can play maps of farmlum pass such as farmlum awakening last boss map that's the first fire Emblem warriors history map and the only map i'm going to spoil it's such a unique mode that you can basically choose a unit that you want to fight on a traditional Fire Emblem 2D field. Intruders or reinforcements can come to this 2D field and you can just choose them and attack. Just like Fire Emblem is normally like and the actual battles when you attack them, the actual battles is warrior style combat, basically warriors. You fight in match from story mode with different objectives and you can fight many farmland playable characters such as Krom or, or Ryoma or Cordelia or you know it's a lot Camilla you can you can basically you basically it's randomized you, you you basically fight them they're really tough most of the time I think this is based on their level actually how tough they are uh, they can have advanced class and this is easily the best part of the game you sh you should try your best to complete story mode so you can just get unlock everything for history mode and just play it all day you can play this infinitely almost infinitely history mode is the mode that is going to challenge you to master every mechanic of this game it's not going to be story mode no 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 not even hard mode it is history mode and history mode is easily the best part and I said this like so many times in this review I'm just gonna give an insert that support conversations is in the game by pairing up characters with each other like newer Final Emblem games are but only you only get these conversations between certain characters only at a plus not s there are no s conversations so no marriage in this game or future children appear because of it. I bet you're asking what I give Fire Emblem Warriors as a score. And I'm grading this as a Fire Emblem game, not a Warriors game compared to Hyrule Warriors or Dragon Quest Heroes. I am not talking about them. I'm comparing them to their actual series that they supposed to be trying to put the Warriors twist to. And I give Fire Emblem Warriors 8 out of 10. Yes, at 8. It's not that. It's not bad. Fire Emblem Warriors is a great Fire Emblem game with a great twist of the Warriors style of games. I know I gave the review score already, but this is one of my favorite spins of the Warriors series. Beating Dragon Quest Heroes 2, that was my favorite in the Cory Tecmo Other People's IP series. That's what I'm going to be calling it. And I also have one more comment. And this is outside of review because I don't grade uh, reviews on graphics. And this is a beautiful 
game. Really beautiful. I played this game in quality mode. No performance. And it's weird. I didn't need 60 FPS. And I didn't want a graphics downgrade on my TV. I am a PC gamer. And a lot of PC gamers are all about frame rate. And this didn't really need frame rate when I was playing it. I didn't. I normally care about frame rate. But for some strange reason, I didn't need it. I didn't need 60 FPS. I just wanted a nice, beautiful 1080p that I'm seeing on my screen. And I also want to apologize that this review is using a camera over the Nintendo Switch portrait mode. I didn't have, I don't, or I'm going to have some trailers as well. I don't have a capture card, but I wanted to make a review of Final Wars because I really love it. I just finished the game and I believe that... 74 on Metacritic does not give this game justice because a lot of people did not get this game for review and I beat this game really quick. I That's a lot I did to finish the game this quick to make this review possible. So, this is Talk Gamer 007 and I see you in the next one. Peace.